During a port visit on April 9, 2025, Japanese Twitter user, Mori Jun, shared a series of intriguing photos taken at what is believed to be the Yokosuka naval base. The images show a new angular turret system mounted aboard the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces, JMSDF, unique test ship, JS Osaka, ASE-6102. Observers speculate this is a modified version of the electromagnetic railgun previously seen during the vessel's first shipboard test firing in 2023. The turret design and equipment hint at ongoing trials involving technology developed by Japan's Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency, ATLA. The JS Osaka stands out as the JMSDF's only dedicated test platform. Commissioned in 1995 and built by Sumitomo Heavy Industries, the 151-meter vessel was conceived under Japan's 1992 defense initiative as the first ship of its kind in over a decade. Operating from Yokosuka, it is managed by the Technology Evaluation and Development Unit, formerly known as the Development Squadron. Construction costs totaled nearly 27.84 billion yen. Osaka's design includes a coglag propulsion system, blending electric and gas turbine elements, that originally featured three LM2500 turbines. However, the electric generation turbine has since been decommissioned, leaving two in operation. The propulsion system provides 43,000 PS, pushing the vessel to speeds up to 27 knots. It accommodates 72 crew members and up to 100 additional personnel involved in testing, with facilities tailored for extended experimental missions, including briefing rooms and gender-separated medical facilities. The ship also marked a milestone in JMSDF history as the first to host female enlisted crew. Notably, the ship's bow is sharply contoured to prevent interference with its sonar, the OQSXX, which combines a cylindrical bow array with a single side flank array due to budgetary constraints. The superstructure supports radar trials and once housed the FCS 3 radar prototype, Japan's phased array radar predecessor to systems now aboard Huga class destroyers. An advanced X band version of this radar was installed in 2014 for further testing. Osaka has continuously evolved. The foredeck once featured a three-level compartment housing an 8-cell MK.41 vertical launch system, which supported early trials for the ASAM, Type 23, and the 07 vertical launch ASROC. This VLS was removed in 2022. Other experimental systems have included torpedo defenses like acoustic jammers, launchers for the Type 12 torpedo, and advanced decoys. The ship's rear deck doubles as a helipad for H-60 series helicopters, while its hangar is designated for equipment storage or operations during inclement weather. Underneath, a work deck houses systems used for testing sonar technologies such as those found on the Mogami-class frigates. Osaka's legacy is built on an extensive range of tests. From the mid-1990s onward, it has evaluated sonar systems, propulsion configurations, radar suites, tactical data processors, missile systems, and infrared tracking gear. The ship played a support role in PSI maritime security exercises and was mobilized for humanitarian response following the 2011 Tohoku disaster. It has helped validate equipment now used on multiple JMSDF platforms. Among its most advanced roles has been in the development of Japan's electromagnetic railgun. Research began in the mid-2010s with small-scale prototypes. By 2016, a 40mm version was in development, intended for air defense and ship-based strike capabilities. Notably, one prototype achieved a 120-shot endurance milestone with projectiles reaching over 2,000 meters per second. The world's first at-sea firing of a railgun was successfully completed aboard JS Osaka in October 2023. The test, led by ATLA and supported by the JMSDF, used a 6-meter-long, 8-ton railgun system powered by a modular capacitor bank delivering 5 megajoules of energy. The test projectiles included streamlined and armor-piercing variants, each weighing roughly 320 grams. Images from the event confirmed the scale and complexity of the test platform, with large containerized systems mounted on deck to manage power supply and charging needs. Japan's broader railgun program is designed to counter advanced aerial threats, including hypersonic weapons. 
A significant emphasis has been placed on reducing the system's size for shipboard deployment. Current goals include having the charger's volume within five years and shrinking capacitor units by 90% over a decade. By 2027, the Ministry of Defense intends to unveil a ship-compatible, small-caliber railgun for anti-ship warfare. A medium-caliber variant aimed at air defense and adaptable across land, sea, and mobile platforms is targeted for 2028. International collaboration is also shaping the program. Between 2023 and 2024, an ATLA engineer embedded with a U.S. Navy research institution to assess Western electromagnetic weapons initiatives. In May 2024, Japan formalized cooperation with France and Germany to explore joint development of railgun technologies, signaling a broader strategic interest in energy-based defense systems. J.S. Osaka remains the linchpin of this technological evolution, acting as the testbed where theory meets sea trials. Its contributions are helping redefine Japan's defense capabilities in a rapidly advancing military landscape.